never believes me, but this is partly why I dig out the opposition as much as I do, because I think that in the age of spitting image, right, spitting image was a great example. Mm. Think about mm. comedians, a lot of comedians are hesitant about doing anti sort of Labour Party jokes because it's seen as by proxy being in support of the Tories, right? Mm. So if you say that on a panel show, it's your face on it, mm. you're the one who will get stick. And maybe that was true in the 80s. The diff difference between with spitting image was, was these were puppets, there was a team of writers, people did the voices, it was almost like a Russian roulette thing mm. if you didn't really know where the bullet was coming from, right? Mm. So then you had a show like Spitting Image, which maybe 30 to 40% of it was about the opposition, which is what I always thought comedy should be. Mm. Mm. So I, so when I'm doing the job, and, and, and I know that people, left wing people or Labour voters will be spitting at their laptops as I'm talking. Mm. I honestly think I'm doing something, I honestly think I'm doing something of worth because it's that, and you look at a lot of things that, that I, and, and, and then the people that critique in the Labour Party have said in jest, have been things that if they'd listened to, they would have done better, right? If they would, it would have been good advice to follow. So it's not a case of just taking the piss out of them for its own sake. Mm. It's saying, do you realise how you're seen by people like me?